Hey, everybody. Welcome to ELG TV. I'm Cheryl Tan, and I'm joined today by a very special guest, Megan Timlin, an educator with the Virginia Beach Public School System. Megan, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, sure. Thanks for having me. You are a longtime friend of Envision Lead Grow, and we so appreciate it. Um, I want to start off by saying uh, you're an educator, but um, you're also an entrepreneur at heart, <laughs> in a sense, right? Yeah. You are yeah. the um, coordinator of the Entrepreneurship and Business Academy at Kempsville High School in Virginia Beach, and you're celebrating, would you say it's your, your first year in business, in a sense? Yes, definitely our first year <laughs> in our, our inaugural year. <laughs> it's been incredible. And the reason um, I call you a business person at heart is because you saw the ELG vision right at the very beginning. So let's let people know what we're talking about. In 2016, we hosted our first camp at Kempsville High School with your girls that were moving into the EBA program. Can you talk with us about why you took a chance on us, Megan? Oh, well, I mean, I, I love any opportunity that provides our students an enrichment um, experience. And I knew from working with you, Cheryl, and also um, having met and worked with Angela Reddix, that it would be nothing short of an amazing program for our girls. So, I mean, we jumped right in. Our students and our parents are really interested in anything entrepreneurship and business. And so to provide them an opportunity to experience this one-of-a-kind camp, I mean, we were all in from the beginning. Beginning. There was no question in my mind it was something we wanted to participate in and be a part of. It was so new for all of us because you were just starting your first fall semester, all new girls, all new program. And what was that summer camp experience like from, from your perspective? And it was kind of a wild and crazy time. You were busy getting the school ready. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a great experience, though, for us. I mean, we were able to bring our students in kind of a week before school got started. We really got to start to learn um, some of the girls a lot better so that we knew some of their passions and their experiences before they even started school here with us, which was really, really cool. Um, but it was just great to watch um, the experience of Envision Lead grow here at Kempsville and the the traits and that are provided, the seeds of success that Angela teaches them throughout the week. We just really saw our girls grow and develop as leaders just within that short week of a, of a period of camp that they had. And so it was a really neat experience for them to come in kind of shy and timid at the beginning and leave pitching their own business ideas. It was really, really rewarding for us to have had that here this summer uh, or this last summer. And, you know, we wouldn't hesitate to do it again if given the opportunity. It was a great experience for students. For all of us, it was really an amazing transformation to see from day one, they didn't know anybody, like they didn't know each other. They were, they're trying to figure themselves out. We are trying to figure things out. And then by Friday of that week, they were up there on stage giving these ideas that they maybe just created over the course of that week. Right. There were some really, um, some really good things that came out of that camp. Some of the girls, would you say have, uh, flourished in business even from that time. Can you give us some maybe success stories to help us see that? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think it helped our students just from a, a jumping point. Those girls got a leg up before everybody else that entered into the academy um, just because they had had experiences networking with partners. Um, the Obviously, our student who won, Allison Daniels, um, was a huge success with her MS Meals and more. Uh, she immediately started an online presence just to start to see, is there interest in this business outside of just you know pitching this at Envision Lead Grow? And she's been able to see that there are people out there who are interested in her what she can provide to others. So she's really working on getting her business started from that from that experience. So um, that was pretty cool. And another one of our students, Kennedy Cassidy, um, pitched her um, sports fitness um, facility kind of thing that she um, wanted to start where, where kids can train in their off season um, without a parent. And that she actually went on to pitch that to Damon John at um, his 
conference that he had down here um, in October. So uh, that was really neat as well. So it really just gave them a chance to kind of take an idea and push it forward, get some feedback from a, from real business people, and then kind of see what they can do with it next. I definitely think that the girls had great experiences participating in this program and were able to take ideas and, and kind of move them a next step forward or realize that maybe that's not really what they want to do and kind of restart over, which is right. what entrepreneurship is all about. Absolutely. And even if you're an entrepreneur within a business, like an entrepreneurial mindset, which nobody can take away from them now, can help no matter where you decide to go. Um, Envision Lead Grow's vi vision is to build, help girls build their futures through entrepreneurship, one girl at a time. And as you know, we're taking this on the road. <laughs> the summer of 2017, we're going to seven cities and we're hoping to touch 1,000 middle school girls. And so we thank you for being the beginning part of this journey. And I know that entrepreneurship is, is huge for EBA and it's a passion of yours. In yeah. general, how have you seen entrepreneurship uh, play a role in your students' lives? Even, even just with this one school year, how have you seen that help them? I mean, I think it's just the opportunities that it can present to them and yeah. the ideas of of taking something, trying it out, and if it doesn't work, reiterate and then, you know, fail forward. We really want students not to get into this mindset of, you know, they just have to pass this test and get this A and move on. Entrepreneurship is all about, like, what can you do with what you've learned and how can you take that to fix, like, world problems in the future? So uh, we're really seeing our students really dig in um, and dig deep into what it is, is their passion and, and what are some problem areas out there in the community that they want to try and solve themselves. And they're only freshmen, but I guarantee by the end of this and when they graduate in 2020, uh, we're going to see some really great things out of these kids. So it's, it's a really incredible opportunity to be a part of here at Kempsville. I think you're right. I think big things are happening and it starts, it starts now. Yeah. this education. So right. Megan, thank you very much for talking thank with you. us, for helping us spread the message, for being a part of the ELG movement, if you will. We'll be in yeah. touch because uh, <laughs> we're going to continue to work with your girls. And yeah, we're happy to help. <laughs> I can't say enough about Envision Lean Grow. It really, it was an amazing experience for our students. And I really hope that so many girls will get that opportunity in the future. So congrats okay. for all you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank you. And we're hoping to reach more people, more and more. So for anyone who wants more information on the mission and the movement behind Envision Lead Grow, just go to envisionleadgrow.org. We'll see you for our next episode. Megan, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Cheryl. <laughs>